All right, well, there's a movie company's eyebrow raising ads that were banned by the MTA last year. You might remember it. They appeared to be too steamy for Brooklyn streets as well. Some have even taken the censoring to the ads in their own hands. Pix 11's Miles Miller live in Dumbo to flesh it all out for us. Hi, Miles. Well, this is a question, an age old story about how racy is too racy for some people in one Brooklyn neighborhood, several Brooklyn neighborhoods actually. This ad is just too much to bear. This is the ad sparking controversy across the city. It shows a scantily clad couple getting it on. Our message is always have protection. But nothing could protect Dumbo Moving and Storage CEO Lior Rachmani from the flurry of comments and complaints he's received about the ad, especially in Midwood, Brooklyn, which has a large Orthodox Jewish community. Uh, rabbis and, and others are, have been calling the whole community basically. I kept bombarding us with, with phone calls. We, we get even emails uh, and, and so forth. And uh, they asking us to either remove the trucks from the neighborhood or to somewhat cover it. And when Rachmani didn't cover up his trucks, someone else did. Right now, there are no leads on who vandalized the trucks. In fact, he says he hasn't even filed a police report about the vandalism. But whoever disapproved of the ads aren't alone. The MTA rejected the racy ad in 2015, claiming it was too suggestive. But the MTA did approve these ads, hawking condoms and breast enlargements. People we spoke with today said the hysteria surrounding the ads is without merit. You think it's too racy of an ad? Not really. I mean, it's just an ad. It's supposed to get your attention, right? And that's what it does. It does its job, I think. Our children are um, growing up faster than we realize, so I think they can handle looking at things like that. That's what happened in real life. So instead of blocking it, they should uh, educate their children to let them know that this thing can happen. And when this thing happen, better have protection, right? Well, two thousand dollars—that's how much it costs this company to repair their trucks. Also, want to note, as you can imagine, he's not planning to take down these ads anytime soon. Live in Brooklyn, I'm Miles Miller. Pix 11 News. Back to you. It's an interesting one, Miles. Thank you. Get your attention.